What's up, Diderinos, and welcome back to another episode of Game Addicts Play Mass Effect 2. Last time we did the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC, and in between episodes, I took the liberty of going out and getting resources and just upgrading everything that I had. So I got some heavy weapon stuff, got some armor stuff, shotgun stuff, you know, all that stuff. So I went in and, and upgraded most everything that I could, that I could want, and now what we're going to do, we're going to go right into it because I don't want to waste any time. We are going to be doing those extra firewalker. We have three of them. So I want to get those done first. Uh, packages for Ish. Citadel. Or, on the Citadel or? Eh. We'll, 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 we'll see about those later because I don't know if I really... They're, like, they're just like little side stuff, and I'm not sure if I want to do it. It's not that I... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's time, man. You know, I'm getting so close to the end, man. I, I want to just... I want to beat the game. It's been coming. It's been a long time coming that I've got... I'm finally, you know, had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. Uh... Launched. Took a big break from making content, podcasts included. Got back on making podcasts. It's difficult for me to come back here and make episodes. I just, we don't have the room. You know, baby sleeps back here. So, I have to try and get as much done as I can when I can. You'll excuse me. I'm just getting a few more in case I need some. Might as well since it was a rich planet. All right, so this is Firewalker, and if 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 you guys remember, Firewalker kind of sucks. We had to had to try not to be destroyed when we did the Overlord DLC, and uh, so now we're gonna be doing some stuff here, hopping around, doing our thing. does not take much at all.
Oh, come on. I'm okay with this. Ah. Required. Oh, there you are. <laughs> from the acid. Get the drop ship detected. Of course there is. Ah, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Ah! I hit the damn trigger button. So I don't even know what these little missions actually give me for story. I'll be honest with you. I know one of the neat things about this series is all of the side stuff. Oh my god, are you going to make me do it all over again? Shut the front door. Oh my god. Yeah. Really not into this. Scanning for mission objectives. For something that really doesn't have that much reward to it either.
So look how easily two little Gats dudes who can't even touch me when I'm on foot can pretty much compromise the integrity of this vehicle. It's, it's, it's not, nah, I'm not a fan. I have now made the decision that after I beat this, I am not doing any more of this crap. Because this isn't difficulty at all. Like, the, this is not the proper way to have difficulty in a video game. This is difficulty by annoyance. And I don't know about you guys, but difficulty by annoyance is actually not a good thing. And it actually hates me. It pains me to say it about this game because this game is a... It's damn near a 10 for me. In about every way. It's story, it's characters, level design, the way that they've streamlined pretty much the entire Mass Effect experience. And that only gets better in design for three. Also note that this thing, the hammerhead, it is an add-on. It is DLC, as in wasn't in the original game. Extraction complete. You do not need this to enjoy Mass Effect 2. Unfortunately, it is a matter of this does... Now, this stuff's optional. You don't have to do it. But it's a negative. The shields on this thing are absolutely horrendous. At least in Mass Effect 1, they gave us the option to get out of the damn vehicle if we didn't want to fight him that way. I can truly say that there is no experience that I've had in flying or operating this vehicle that has been a pleasant experience. And unfortunately, that's a that's a knock on this game and You know, before Warning. Get forces detected. in prior playthroughs of this game, it's always something that I just dealt with.
Yeah, so that's it. So there is a story about trying to find this doctor. But I don't care. That part is... It's not enjoyable. You know? In Mass Effect 1, driving the Mako, or Mako, is not enjoyable. It's something you have to do to play the game. So yes, I do look past it. But it's nowhere near fun. All right, I'm going to head back to Citadel see if I can find that package for what's his name, Ish. Then I think there was something I needed to give somebody some sort of forged ID of some sort. Yay for skipping cutscenes. I mean, that's, that cutscene's awesome. I'm a little aggravated at this point. Though, playing that damn mission aggravated the crap out of me. And, you know, I, I, I play these because I want to showcase the story. I want to showcase the gameplay, the lore, and all that kind of stuff. You know, uh, I love the Mass Effect series. But damn it, if that wasn't irritating as crap. All right. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. I actually need, need the map for a second. So it said Marib's shop. Which one is Marib? Uh, I can't believe these humans. No fly lists. What did they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Interesting. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Oh, so I could have gave him the forged IDs. But instead... We're going to go talk to customs. You'll have to wait for the next shuttle. You made me miss the last one. You needed to go through security. Can I help you, sir? I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of c -Sex undercover agents. Did you talk with them? Did they seem like geth agents to you? 
Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. <laughs> I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Let's hear an audio things again. We had that issue like an episode or two ago. We lost audio completely. So? Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Yay, we helped. Alright. Ah, no, no, no. Didn't want the map that time. More Rab's shop. More Rab. Vina. Ship salesman. Chef. Marib. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Nito Bechtal is a member of the crime organization headed up by Arya Talok, often considered to be the pirate queen of Omega. While Arya's gang is mostly airtight, Nito has an eye towards outside work. Whether this is an exploitable note, we're not sure. This is Arya Talok, after all. Deliver the package to Ish. On Omega. Where I've already been. Anyway, yeah. As soon as I do that, I will circle back around and we are going to go. And get the Reaper IFF. We're carrying on with the story. Big time. I surely as heck I'm not doing any more of those damn hammerhead missions. Whoever that doctor is can rot in hell. I don't care. <laughs> I want to know when the next shuttle will get here. There's one every ten Okay. Before we go. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Fine. I'm going to look up something real quick about See if those have any major effect on Max Effect 3, which I don't think that they do.
I don't think it does. Do not think that it does. All right, so I'm gonna actually gonna go. I'm gonna go and talk to Tali. We haven't really had a talk since we since we helped her out. And seeing as how she has been my typical romance option for Mass Effect Two and Three, we're gonna try and get underneath the helmet. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bullshit! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the port drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox. But I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. <laughs> I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> Wait, I can't tell under the helmet. Are you blushing? What? No, it's the fever. It's just that their tradition also signifies a willingness for, um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't... You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. So, Kenneth... Did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the subdeck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. 
Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl, stop toying with me. I get a kick out of those two. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? If I want to talk to you, I will. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now. And you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Then don't worry. I'm not interested. Good. I didn't want you coming around here anymore anyway. You got what you want, Jack. We'll keep this business. No problem. Yeah. No problem. I really didn't know how to handle that, because I'm afraid that the wrong answer will signify something that I don't want it to signify. So... There. Okay, we'll go to crew quarters. Not sure if Miranda has anything to say. I know Miranda kind of makes pass at you, too. Um, this is when you could kind of start deciding, hey, I like you or don't. In that way. We've already had it, pretty much all the conversations that we're going to have with Garrus. If I remember correctly, the last one he really has is the reach and flexibility. Rupert! something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're oh, just a tool maybe. to be. You are who you are. That's it. The difference is, you were great before. Thanks for your time, Miranda. Anytime, Bye. Commander. I actually forgot to ask about her mom! 
Commander. Well, there's a lot to do, Shepard. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Screw your mom, then. She's obviously not in the picture. <laughs> Damn it, I was just... I hit the wrong... I hit the wrong conversation. So here I am, like, ah, oh, let me get past this real quick. And, well, you know. You know what? Let's see if Thane has anything else to say. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am... I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Lixer cut trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. Oops. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. I don't think that's something you should share with Kolyat. Erika helped me carry my burdens. With what time I have left, I must help him with his. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Thane is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Uh, I really, really dig his... Oh... Be trying, trying to find peace and be at oneself. Like, he's a, you know, obviously a trained killer and you can argue that his his view of using his body as that you know for that in you know he doesn't really he's like basically takes no claim to have uh, responsibility you could take that as you know wrong or irresponsible But I really do dig his character. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Excuse me. Oh, man. All right, we can skip that. We've seen it before. Ship coming into dock. 
Take your team members with you. Who will you take? Ah. Once again, hitting the wrong button to grab. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. Have you seen what's in these packages? Why? Did you find something untoward? Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. Why do you want information about one of Arya's men? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya, and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. If onto where Arya found out, I'd be ruined. Or killed. Arya will find out what you're up to, Ish. I don't envy you when that happens. I... I think I can handle it. No one has beaten Arya in centuries. Once she casts down your clients, she'll come looking for you. You're right. I... I have to get out of here. Thank you, my friend. You probably just saved my life. Come on, Cell. We have to get out of here. Now we can leave. So, that mission itself seems pretty annoying how we have to come all the way back here and just give him that, have that conversation to leave. And it is, it is quite annoying. Now imagine having several missions like that on every place you go, every, uh, every major planet you go to, you're hopping back and forth to drive across uh, across an open map to find one thing, to talk to one person, to hop back in your car, drive across the map, leave, go on another planet. That's Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> as much as there's aspects about Andromeda that are amazing, that is a negative for me. And it has prevented me from re completely replaying Andromeda multiple times. I've started it twice since I beat it once and it's hard to want to play it. I don't want to do all the side stuff. Alright. Are you guys ready to go get this IFF? Direlect Reaper. That's what we're doing. Orbiting the, I cannot pronounce that, is a two, two kilometer long ship with an unmistakable profile of a Reaper, giving off powerful signatures in localized areas, but they are far weaker than a ship that size would indicate. The Reaper seems to maintain a Mass Effect field that has kept it from falling in, in, into the failed star, but massive holes seem to have been blasted and melted. Oh, what is it? Oh, I uh, didn't know those were installing. I got the free games for <laughs> Xbox. Valley, so Valley, you know, uh, V Rally Four is done. So you, so all you guys know. The only logical conclusion is that is that the Reaper died, or at least reduced to min minimal functioning, a long time ago. So this is going to be interesting because one of my favorite aspects, the weird aspects, we haven't even heard much about in this game. We're gonna that it, that was in the first game. It's coming back into play because uh, we're going inside a Reaper. And we are going to be fighting, fighting people. So, oh, excuse me. I know it gets tired of seeing me pick the same two people, but quite literally ha having three overloads and two warps is useful in pretty much any situation. What with all the job, Joker? Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. Does this 
second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the Ladar paints its silhouette as Gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? Open door. Exploring an abandoned area, expecting something mechanical and nasty to jump out at any moment. Just like old times. Well, that's uh, reassuring. Indoctrination. This Reaper is dead. Supposedly. We finished cataloging specimens A203 to B016. No evidence of active nanotechnology noted. Dr. Chindana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. Even though this Reaper is, quote, dead. Normandy to shore party. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. What trapped? We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. This is disconcerting. Did the Geth do all this? <laughs> You're married? You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. Uh, what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? It sounds like the Reaper was affecting their minds. Indeed. Heads up! They could be used as improvised. Firing eye impact shot! Sovereign is what he said.
couldn't see the shooter. A survivor from the science team. This might be useful. Bikes. I'll take it. We've seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Geth use them on Eden Prime. And in other places. The distribution suggests that their Reaper technology shared with the Geth. See how the room is arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. It does look like that. But why would they want this to happen? You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. I've seen a few myself, on Eden Prime. And a few other places. Keep sharp. The science team was nearly a hundred strong. There may be a lot more husks in here.
Hi. this.
Then we get off the ship fast. Shepard. No one's ever captured a Geth intact. You know the risk. That's all I'm going to say. There's no time for a debate. Move out. Hang on, folks. Hold me to the port side here.
Well. So, even if a Reaper is no longer active, it can still send out an indoctrination signal. I think we need to discuss the unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. Alright. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul. Replaced by tech. Whatever they were. Gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture. Closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work? My people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. What is it about the Collectors modification that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. 
Instead, Solarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. <laughs> Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> I love that. When you wait. What you've learned, Morton. How to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including. Oh man. I absolutely love that. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. We'll talk later. Commander. Make our rounds here. I'm gonna end this episode before or, I don't know. We'll see. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. Suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Uh. All right, good. I, I can still talk. Ten hut. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aya. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. Understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. 
No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheids. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, Chapter 5, Verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gap. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. So... The Geth that we fought in the original Mass Effect, and the Geth that we have been fighting thus far, for the most part, are a pocket of Geth who have decided to deviate from the other group of Geth to follow the Reapers. I found this mind-blowing when I first played the game. I'm like, ah! <laughs> because when you play the original game, and up to this point, you're, you're kind of led to believe that the Geth are AI and they're simple to understand but they're very but they're just as complex as people you know and that they're not all together just because they're AI just because they're machines they don't all think the same they don't all come to the same conclusions Shepard Commander we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core did you find anything useful we were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future we are prepared to reveal how the heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So... The virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. 
So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL com release. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoin the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. So that is his or their um, loyalty mission. We get Legion very late into the game because now that we have the IFF, we're pretty much locked into Endgame. We have time to do a few things, and that's going to be it. I'm going to go talk to Tali, see what she says. She's probably mad at me right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sweet talk her, and here I am bringing Geth aboard the ship. Leave it to me, I guess. Never been that bright with the ladies. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. She doesn't know yet. that or she's just going to rip into me. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt, maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I, I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks, or maybe it would kill me. But that's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Lieutenant Alenko died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research. Figure out how to make this work. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immuno boosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details. But trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases, everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. But I'm ready to show you. 
if I can do it without dying. Whenever you figured it out, I'll be here for you. I'll let you know, I promise. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. That peachy. So what we're going to do to end this episode, because the next episode will be the last. I know I said I was going to do a rival last. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Actually, no. Maybe two more episodes. Two more episodes. Lucid Man. Shepard, pleased to hear you were able to cover the Reaper IFF, and I've sent Edie the necessary protocols to get it integrated successfully into the Normandy system. With luck. This will give us the ability to get through the Omega 4 relay and take the fight to the collectors on our own terms. I've been notified about the intact geth on your in your decision to keep it. If you believe that it can be trusted, then go ahead and activate it. Oops. Already did that. Just make sure the ED is adequately protected against any hacking attempts. Not necessarily a decision I would have made, Shepard, but this is your call. You've already you've already cast a wide net in your recruiting efforts, and if the geth are willing to fight the fight the collectors, then we can use them on the team. I trust you to get the job done, whatever it takes. So You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. <laughs> what about me? You give me a hug? The Normandy crew delivered. Including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. So... I wanted to end the episode on a certain got a note. Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. This must be different. The crew is still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. I will alert you once the system is ready for shakedown. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. <laughs> Just <laughs> I've had enough. So I don't necessarily want to do that mission. Now I mean I guess I got other stuff I could try to go do. Cause what I'm waiting for now is is a is a trigger. And it's a trigger that is going to lock us into the end game, and you only have a few t a few chances to do missions after you've started it. And I don't know what the I don't want to do those. Screw it! I'll tell it to go do it. Then we'll go from there. It makes us do it, it makes us do it, huh? There we go. I have detected an anomaly. Have you now? Probe away. Something on our sensors. Okay, I guess I just gotta go find something to do.
until she tells me. Because what I want to do, I want to frame the episodes coming up in a certain order or manner. And uh, I feel like that would, like, narratively, it'll work better that way. I don't need to bring... You know what? Just because I'm asking for trouble. You... More health or more weapon damage. I guess I didn't need to skip that, but screw it. First geothermal activity has rendered pathfinding function inoperable. Please use manual controls to locate research base. Nothing like ending an episode with the same way we started it, with me being frustrated. the hell am I supposed to go?
Though it's funny that, like, we bring in Tali and Legion, and there's nothing for them to say on this mission that makes them have any sort of contact with each other. She has not yet even acknowledged the fact that we have a Geth right next to her. And it's helping us fight things. Anyway. Wrong one. Come on now. I'm boy, I am not happy with this set of circumstances at the moment. There. That, that's all that was in here. The only bonus I will say about this these kind of missions where you go inside is that they don't all look the same inside, unlike the first Mass Effect game. I don't know where we're going, but we're going. damage sustained. You don't say. Let's say that's not a very good 
checkpoint. can't say that playing this mission is making me very happy that I'm playing this game right now, which sucks, because it's Mass Effect freaking 2. you've received a new message at your private terminal. That was a close one. Yeah. Data you retrieved gives us a definite location of, Kate, of Dr. Casey. Dr. Case, whatever his name is. Prothean site. Doctor is certain that the site held a revelation of enormous significance. What does that mean? I already talked to him. Apparently, it's not going to trigger. Uh, I don't know how many more missions I have to do. Go and make me angry one more time. The other one's just a geth one, and that la that last geth one. Mm -mm. So if it doesn't say it after this one, then I'm gonna cut off the video, and we'll just do it I have detected an on the next one. 
I'll already tell you what you can do with all these anomalies. Probe launched. Something on our sensors. Well, I haven't brought Brett in a while. I haven't brought Jacob in a while. Why not? Why not? So far, that was the least irritating mission with the hammerhead. This site is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even those blue sun thugs hired to protect the big site. With those blue suns protecting the site, we barely managed to erect the shield before Geth arrived. How do they know our movements almost before we go? Oh. Well. Can you 
like this. It's too late for me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic. And myself. Case, Casey, never understand the deal I made with the collectors. He's obsessed with these Protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen, to ensure that you remain safe. The damn collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this Prothean find. Can only hope that you find or remained innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you. Was it that all of that aggravation for a for a sphere that changes size when you touch it? I don't know. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Sure, I have. I'm sure I have. Historic discovery. Yeah, cool. Maybe I need to leave it, leave the floor. Let's go down to the third floor and then come back up. I don't know. I don't know else that I played this, but I don't. But I don't remember. Like, she even said, "Take the shuttle to your next mission." But I'm like, "No, I want to talk to Legion first. And now, like, it was like, "Okay, that, yeah, that stuff." <laughs> You're doing a robot. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the heretic stronghold? Can you give me a quick rundown of the situation? The heretics have prepared a weapon that will reap over yep. time. The virus will change us, make us conclude. You know where this is? We will provide coordinates. No this could be our best chance to end the conflict between organic. We will begin preparations. Okay. Cool. Well, guys, I'm not gonna drag this out anymore. I guess we're not gonna get the thing to uh, to trigger. I don't know what I gotta do. Maybe I gotta go do his thing, but I wanna do that his thing on the next part. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've enjoyed playing it other than the Hammerhead stuff. I've been Brando. This has been Mass Effect 2. 
And I uh, hope you uh, hit that like button or and subscribe if you haven't. There's more gameplay stuff coming down the line and more podcasts as, as well. And that's here and everywhere on podcast services. Until next time, I've been Brando. Have a good one, guys. Game on.